Hi, happy Wednesday. Hope you're having a great day so far. Let's go ahead and get to our reading. I'll pull an oracle card and go from there. If you've never been to my channel before, I do not take jumpers. I wait for my guides and angels to tell me the cards are in the order that they need to be in. And while bad things do sometimes happen, I will always try to find a positive outcome. Yes, I do do personal readings. You can find the info in the description below. There is a link to my website or reach out to me at healingwithsimoon at gmail.com. That link is in my description as well. All right, let's go ahead and get our guidance for the day. Heart awakening. Hell yeah, it is. Our hearts are awakening so much. Oh my goodness. When, when you wake up in the morning, all I ask is that you try one thing. Breathe in deep. Breathe in that divine love. Try it. Just try it. Even if you don't believe it, just breathe it in all the way down. And when you breathe it out, just say thank you. Okay? Yeah, it's time to turn the page for all of us. It truly is. We don't want the shadows in our life anymore. We want the light. We do. We want the darkness to go away so that we can shine like the stars we are or the divine light that we are. Living this 3D existence, so to speak. Okay. Let's go ahead and get our ancestor card. Shadow. Darkness. Just like you do with the shadows that go within you. When you see shadows in the world and darkness, shine your light, no matter where you see it. Please shine your light. Come out of the shadows. You don't have to be there anymore. You can come on out now. It's safe. I promise. Reach out. You'll see. Just reach on out. Okay? Creativity and artists. There's an artist in all of us. Truly, there is. You know there is. You can feel it. I know you can. We're like, yeah, 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 but what am I to do with it? I don't know. Only you and your inner knowing and spirit know that. That angelic being, the fairy that's been with you since the beginning of time when you came into this world. They were here with you to help you remember your purpose. Ask. Look inside. You'll know. You'll know exactly what to do. I promise you, you will. Because it will be such a fiery passion within you. You won't be able to do anything else. Kind of like me with these videos. I've been doing them daily for a while now since I found out I could. I know, that sounds really fucking weird, right? I told you I was alone for a long time. I never thought about sharing myself over the internet. It's quite the concept. I say you try it sometime. Seriously. Just share yourself all over the internet. See what comes back. You never know. Yes, our earth oracle. Heal thyself. Yeah, that shadow work. Yep. Even when you see the shadows out and about. Shine your light. We can't get rid of the shadows if we don't heal ourselves and shine. And there are shadows everywhere in this universe that need to be illuminated, if you will. No more shadows. We're going to transform this entire fucking universe. Yes, we are. We're going to get rid of all the shadow so that all the angelic beings can come out of hiding. All of them. They don't have to live in the shadows anymore. I know I sound crazy, right? But trust me, you'll see. It is by communication and learning to accept ourselves for exactly who we are. So that we can shine and bring light into this world. And no, I don't care what you believe. I don't care if you believe in God, the Virgin Mary, Jesus. Ma I, I don't care. Mary Magdalene. I really don't care. You believe in paganism? Okay, cool. You want to believe in Aleister Crowley? I'll even go with that. I'll go with anything. Anything you want. Alright? So long as you're a good person and you're striving to the light. And you are learning to communicate with your higher self, with your angels and guides, and accepting exactly who you are and what you came here to do. 
and I'm going to tell you something. It's a hard one. I've been hit with a with a boulder, you might say. I'm not even sure I'm ready to talk about it, but I'm trying to work up to talking about it. And as I guess when I do start to talk about it, it will be a true relief. I can feel it. I hear him talking to me, you know, and I guess what it is is there's shadows everywhere and I want to I want to I want to shine a light within all the shadows that's what I want to do no more darkness we just want light we want to come out of the darkness and raise our hearts and spirits up to the very light above we do and we will each time we eradicate a little bit more darkness each time we take a shadow and we illuminate it with our light of divine love, it works. And it will raise the whole planet up, the entire universe. Now everything will just be raised up to that vibration of love. Well, that's my dream. I'm allowed to have that dream, just like you're allowed to have yours, right? We just have to remember to keep looking at the big picture. Yeah, the big picture. Let's go ahead and get a moon card. It is that divine connection. It is. Yeah, the car is just staring at me. It's that divine connection. When we call that spirit down to guard us and be with us and to teach us and to know. To establish that, that connection with the divine is so glorious. Because then you know you're truly connected, right? And you will always know as a child of light to set your boundaries so that you can go and do what you need to do. All right. With a deeper understanding of whose heart we're healing. We're healing her heart. The heart of nature. My father's world. We're healing it. It's your father's world too, don't you worry. But we're healing that heart. As we heal ourselves, we heal her. It's a great thing, right? I know, it's fucking glorious. That's what I say anyway. It's glorious. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Yes, it does. It does. It's got a tough end of a tough cycle is ending for everyone. Every time we cast light into the shadows. And yes, we can expect powerful change. Really powerful fucking change. Because we're going to illuminate the entire universe with our light and love and laughter. Yes, we are. And we're going to push all the shadows back to where they don't have any choice anymore but to allow all my angels to come back to the light. You'll see. Doesn't make any sense, right? The fairies were pushed away so long ago by those who didn't understand the divine angelic beings of light that help to guide us and help us shine our light. Fear, lack of understanding. Well, we're here to bring understanding back and to push back the shadows that drove them away. The fear, the lack of knowing, fear of the unknown, false evidence appearing real. Angelic beings of light are not here to harm us. They're here to love us and help us see the light everywhere if we can just heal their hearts and bring them home. My mission. Yes, I love my fairies. I love my fairies a great deal. They were hurt so badly by people who just didn't understand and wanted their power for themselves. That's what I'm going to go with. And well, we just can't have that. Goodness. Yes. 
There are those who think that the fairy realm is filled with shadow and darkness. And I guess it is because they were, they were shoved there by ignorance, unknowing, unwilling to learn who they were, to accept their help. They were pushed away. I'm going to bring them back. I am, with my mother's love and my father's guidance. I'm bringing them all home, all of us, or die trying. You don't really die, you just move on, come back, do it again. And we're gonna keep coming back until we heal her. Think about it. No more malignant, antagonistic, communal narcissists. Just divine light and love and some laughter. As my sweetheart would say, my, my twin flame soulmate, whatever you wish to call him, he's waiting for me. You'll see. You have one waiting for you too, I promise you. Harmony. I open myself to the divine being within me. I am the image of God. Thus, I have the power to bring light into my life. I turn any darkness in me into something beautiful. In the absence of resentment, anger, or doubt, I find harmony. What I meant to say, just so I don't confuse you, is we all have a soulmate. We all have another half the one who completes us and makes us whole. Now don't go crazy, all right? May not be that person that's lighting you up right now, okay? It may not be, it might be somebody else. You remember that, you never know, all right? Just take it in and look at it. If you think it might be, start asking. Ask questions of the divine, not of the one you met. And then, Trust. Yeah, that hard one, right? Trust. Trust the universe. Trust the divine. Just trust. Trust the process. Trust. I trust life and my strengths. Each moment guides me to the light. Everything on my path is placed there for my growth. Well, it is. And sometimes growth can be hard. One thing's for certain, though. Trust me, one thing is for certain. Nothing happens, nothing changes without action. You have to take action. Just like the Pink Floyd song says, on the turning away, no more turning away. My divine action incites love and harmony. I am aware of my thoughts and driven by positive forces. I listen to my heart, my desire to manifest light, transforms test into growth, challenge into opportunity, and fear into love. Well, hell yeah, and it does. We just need to keep taking the action. When you see something, look inside, hold on to it, especially if it's not pleasant. Because we got to figure out why we're feeling it like I'm doing right now with everything that I've been learning about myself. There's a lot to take in and a lot to deal with. And, you know, you can, you can ask for advice from the spirit. You can reach out to your friends if you want. But I'm telling you, the advice that you get from yourself when you look inside, when you call down that spirit, when you pull it into your heart and look there, I promise you will start to see more and more and know the right answer because your inner knowing your higher self your guides you'll hear them finally and they will guide you on your path try it what do you got to lose think about it okay love and light to you i wish you the very best in life always i really do bright blessings and namaste